Hello everyone, my name is Adrian Fernandez from Texas Instruments and I'm here to do another tutorial video. Um, this time we're going to be using the 8x8 uh, LED matrix booster pack uh, from Olamax. Uh, so Olamax is a, is a great third party of ours. They've developed a few booster packs and a few uh, TI based development boards. Um, but the booster packs that I'm using today um, is the uh, 8x8 LED booster pack um, as well as the associated um, sort of daisy chainable modules. Um, so this right here is the booster pack that plugs into uh, any of your launch pads. And um, we can actually hook up additional uh, 8x8 uh, modules uh, thanks to these pins here on the side. So we can actually build them into a array in, in one dimension. Um, so we can have multiple tiles uh, to create a sort of scrolling marquee type of, uh, type of solution or LED signage type of uh, type of application. Uh, so the booster packs you can order them from Olamex directly. Uh, you can also find them uh, from from distributors like uh, Mauser.com and, and some other ones as well. Um, so to program the uh, the booster pack, we're going to be using Energia, which is the tool that I've got opened up here. Um, and packaged inside of the latest version of Energia is a code example for this particular booster pack, uh, which will allow us to actually modify the string. That we want to display on the uh, on the booster pack uh, LED matrix. So here's the uh, the hardware setup that I've got. I'm just going to hold it up. Uh, so I've actually got an, I'm using an MSP430 G2553 launch pad here. However, I've had success with the Tiva launch pad as well as the uh, 5529 MSP launch pad as well. Um, so so the code that I'm about to run will work on any of those launch pads to enable this type of application um, on the booster pack. Um, so here you've got the uh, main booster pack. It's uh, also got a buzzer and a microphone as you can see um, So that enables some unique applications as well um, But in this particular demo, I'm only going to be using the 8x8 LED matrix um, And you can see that I've actually attached multiple of these uh, daughter modules um, And I'm daisy chaining them together to, uh, to create that scrolling marquee um, type of application. So I've got five tiles here so I'm just going to put that down for now, um, and we'll, we'll take a look at the code. So uh, to find the code example, you just go to File, uh, Examples, uh, Display, and inside of the Display category is the LED 8x8 display. Um, if you just click on that, that will open up the code example for this particular application. There you go. Um, and really, there's only one main line of code that we have to change, um, and that line of code is here, this string. Um, so you can actually modify that to say, uh, hello, uh, my name is Adrian. Learn more about Launchpad at www.ti.com slash launchpad. Cool. Um, you can see there's other, also a few parameters we can change. We can change speed, um, and this basically dictates the uh, the speed of the characters scrolling across the uh, the tiles. Um, so by default, three works pretty well. Um, the number of tiles in this case, I do have five tiles together, so I don't have to change that number. But if you're adding more, if you have less, you can change that number accordingly. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and. Uh, hit the compile and download button. Of course, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you have the right board selected. Uh, in this case, I'm using the G2553 Launchpad, so I'm in good shape there. Um, then I'm gonna go ahead and download that code. So while that's compiling, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, aim down at the hardware here, and you should see the text appear pretty soon. go and you can see that's the exact same text um, that we we programmed into the code here um, and you can see that it uh, it already has uh, fonts which are defined here in the .c and .h files um, you can create your own fonts as well um, 
simply by modifying this array structure. Um, so it's a pretty flexible um, code example here. You should be able to do different symbols, characters, numbers, uh, whatever it is you want to uh, display on the uh, on the screen here. So um, this booster pack is uh, single color only, so it is only available in red. Um, but uh, but it is a pretty flexible booster pack, and on, on a software standpoint, as you can see here. Um, so that's it. You can find more information on this booster pack here from Olamex. Um, again, it's also orderable from many of our distributors. Um, and you can find this particular code example in the latest version of Energia. Um, so thank you very much, and I'll see you next time. Bye.